So because I am not currently making any freezer meals, but I will soon, I do wanna do a few strategies without any of the food in them. So first, it's really easy to find inexpensive pie dishes. Um, I have probably about 15 or so now. I actually found at least 10 for free um, from a leftover garage sale. And these are perfect for biscuits and for cinnamon rolls and for different things like that for in the morning and it's like the perfect amount. While people typically bag breakfast for burritos, again, I'm trying to stay away from bags as much as possible, but I'll be honest, I still use bags. Um, the smaller Pyrex that are not the 13 by nine inch pans are really great for stacking them inside of because it's more of a burrito size and you can save the bigger size for your bigger meals. Okay, so the next strategy is making sure that you take your dishes that are the same size and coupling them together. So these are actual 13 by nine inch pans and I have them stacked together ready to go for whenever I do meals. And then these are actually like, by 14 or maybe just a little bit bigger there's two things that are important about this the first one is if you take this one and you do like a casserole type of meal then you can lay a piece of parchment paper inside of it and after you lay the parchment paper inside of it you can write what it is you can write any other details what to serve it with how the temperature how long etc and then because it's a casserole and it's not super juicy and you have that parchment paper, you put this one right on top and you do the same. And so you can pretty easily stack these. Yes, some of them do come with lids. Um, your lids are best used for your actual soupier types of meals. And so then, especially if you're doing different types of meals all at the same time, it would then be the one that's on top. The other thing is, is you can take the smaller ones and in the freezer, they then go on bottom because it creates a base for your bigger ones. And so it creates a lot better spacing within your freezer. And don't forget about bread pans. Bread pans are really great too. Again, for things like burritos, um, if you make individual quesadillas, um, just all kinds of different things. But then also, like whenever I was preparing for our fifth baby to be born, I did make a bunch of um, so-called dessert breads or breakfast breads, like banana bread or zucchini bread or things like that. And I put them in these, um, or I would pop them out and wrap them up. But your bread pans are also really versatile. 